Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum on RealIllusionForum.com. Somebody asked, I, I did a um, routine about a super suit, um, using how to, how to create and work on super suits. So somebody asked, I don't know, for more details. I'm not quite sure what details they're looking for, but um, yeah, I can see how that needs to be fixed. But in any case, um, I um, what am I trying to say? So I, I created this super suit to show... Uh, this is from the regular Genesis super suit. Uh, one of the reasons that I did the other super suit was to show how different areas on a suit could be shaded. And every uh, piece of clothing uh, is different, uh, particularly the, the different developers from Daz do different things. So this is the one that I showed you before. I think I have another video. I had to bring this in as two separate items, as the gloves and the, um, and the, and the regular suit so it fits the character. So you've already seen that. So basically what you have to do is see how to make the different parts get colored like this. So uh, so again, we, we go to Transformer, and we're going to bring this in a CC2 because it's a, a CC2, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, CC character because it's a Genesis figure, and therefore it's not, um, can't be a super, can't be a CC3 character. So this is, I'm just going to walk through this, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because essentially you're going to have to figure out how to get all these areas yourself but i will at least show you um you know how i did it and i made one of these gloves one of these gloves. i've already done this part on the other um tutorial so i won't go over that again but uh, one set is gloves and one set is the suit itself that way it conforms to the whole character and remember that whenever you have suits that cover the whole character you're going to basically hide all the mesh that you don't need in this particular case everything up until the neckline can be hidden uh, because you don't want any poke through to happen on the uh, mesh so it comes in like that and, we, and we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is make sure we know which one's which here uh, so this is the one with the gloves you can see the gloves fit fine there on this one uh, so actually before I even go any further I'm gonna show you we're gonna hide the whole character we're gonna go I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm going to put this in a front-facing character, and I'm going to go to Edit Mesh. I'm going to do that. I'm going to ignore our back faces. It's turned off because we want to do both sides. I always have it turned off on mine. And we want to do this. We want to hide. Do this. Hide. And then do all of this and hide. So basically when you come out of it... Oh, I'm sorry. I tipped I had the wrong thing selected. Let's try that again. <sighs> I'm trying to do this too quick. Edit Mesh. Here we go face <laughs> that's good i wonder why i wasn't seeing any of the faces selected hide and hide and hide okay now um when when we come out of this uh, now that i've hidden the other one i've got to actually unhide some of the other faces on here uh, not that one but, uh, uh, this one here so edit mesh we're going to go ahead and face and i'm going to unhide all this stuff so you can see all this here Okay, we'll show. Okay, all right, so this is this is the gloves one. Now, you could go through and hide all the parts of this, but I wanted to show you basically how this works on the, uh, the texture. So what happens is every piece of clothing has um, textures assigned to it, and usually when they have bodysuits like this, they have different aspects of it assigned to uh, different textures, <clears throat> and that's how you can edit it. So... In this particular case, if we if we can see how that happens by simply going to and turning down the opacity. So you can see there's the waistline there of that uh, one character. And here's another waist. So you can turn that down. You can see exactly where that that zone is. So if I wanted to make those waists uh, a different color, for example, I could go in here and turn them into a different color. You know, make it gold. And that's what I did <clears throat> on that other character. However, this isn't really... Um, this particular piece is going to be the gloves, so I'm actually going to uh, rename this to be gloves here. And in this particular case, all I really want are the arms. So for all the other textures um, that, that are not the arms, I'm going to hide. So we're going to go in here, and not the fingers and the hands, but the feet and the shins and all this stuff. And you can actually even go ahead and make these into one texture. You can actually come up here... Uh, if you haven't seen this before, you can combine these into one texture if you want. But I'm not going to do that now as I want to be very specific on what we're doing here. So turn those down. We're going to hide it all. So there, 
there we have the arms. And those aren't really the gloves. So now we got to decide <clears throat> what the gloves are going to look at, like, excuse me, look like. So go down there. Okay, those can be long opera gloves. So that would be one way of doing it. Uh, I think we want to make the gloves a little shorter than that, though. Uh, 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 there. Okay, there's there's good looking gloves. Okay. So now we know all the rest of it, the, uh, the rest that's on here, the fingers and the hands, are all the same color. So now you can make those any color you want. I think I made them red before. We could, we could still make them red. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. Whoops. We forgot one section there. This one there. Make that red. Okay. So those are our gloves. So now we get rid of the gloves. We don't really need to look at those right now. We're going to go back to this. Remember, this is everything but the gloves. So in this particular case... We're going to hide all of the arms and fingers and hands. Not that very first arm part, because we wanted that. <clears throat> but the rest of the arm parts we're going to hide. Oops, didn't get the hands, though. I must have missed the hands. Oh, missed the hands. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. Okay, and so then that way we have gloves, and yet we still we don't want to really hide that last bit of the arm pit. That, that we need to bring up. Oops, I'm on the gloves part. Hang on. I'll get here in a second. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now we'll look at our gloves. Okay, there we go. So that's, we've got our gloves, and now we're going to concentrate on the rest of the suit. So on this suit, again, it's just, it's just going by the zones here. So you're going to have to figure this stuff out yourself. On this, um, both of the ways you can, you can make um, whatever color you want, maybe gold. Same thing for uh, the feet. I think I had the feet be gold, too. But again, you, you're going to have to go through it. Every suit, every material will be different and have different zones. So that's basically how you're going to handle all this. Uh, and then I think the rest of it I made I made blue. Actually, I made the, uh, the shorts red, I think. Yes, I think I made these red. And then everything else I made blue. But I'm not going to go through all that. I don't want to waste your time. The, only, the last thing I'm going to do, though, is do the, this torso with the logo on it. Because I did put the logo on here. And I wanted to show you how that works. So, on this particular case, if we find the torso. Somewhere, somewhere the torso is here. Where is the torso? There it is. Torso. Okay, on the torso, what you really want to do is put a logo right on that chest area. Right there. But how do we how do, we do that? Well... First of all, we don't get into there. On the torso, we're going to come down here, and you're going to look in the map section, and there's no map applied already. So you're going to go here, and you're going to launch this UV reference. And if there's UVs assigned to that map, it will then show them. So here's the UVs for that map, and this shows where you have to put the logo. And so basically, that's what I did. I created a logo and put it uh, right right on that where that UV was. So... Uh, that's basically how I came up with that logo. And then if you, uh, once you know where that is, then you just go ahead and load that logo in. And uh, and there you go. So that's basically all it is. Um, hopefully this helps. And if you have any other questions, just ask me on the forums.